Hey everybody, it's David McGowan. Uh, a few days ago, my friend Andrea Lucas was uh, asking for a tutorial on how to press from the crow to a handstand posture. So I thought I would give you a few tips so that you can practice at home on your own. Now obviously, in order to have this down, you have to be able to do the crow, you have to be able to do a handstand. Uh, without either of those two elements, it's pretty tricky. So if you're not able to get into your handstand in particular yet, you can always practice kicking against the wall for a little while. And then once you get to the point where you can do that in the middle of the room, you can start to link the two. Now, when it comes to actually uh, pressing from the crow to the handstand, uh, one thing is really, really important. You essentially have to create sort of a backbending motion uh, in relation to your hips and your head. Now, what I mean by that is when pressing up, rather than sort of hollowing and rounding your spine like this, you actually need to do the exact opposite. You need to sort of create a hinging in your hip by curling your tailbone up in the air as you lift your collarbones. Now, in a lot of ways, I think this feels a little bit like you have a super long tail that you're trying to lift up, up, up until it actually loops around to touch the top of your head. So when you do it, you essentially start out in your crow, such as it is. And once your hands are on the floor, you lift up into the position. Now, from there, you can take attention to your really long tail. And with your collarbones lifted, you can start curling your tailbone up in the air. From there, you loop up as though you're trying to touch your tail to the top of your head. And then once you get your hips somewhat above your wrist, you can extend your feet straight up in the air to stick the final variation. Now to get all the way back down, it's the same sort of thing. You keep your collarbones up, you keep your butt really, really high, and at the end of it, you can float your legs all the way back down to the arms. Now at first when you're practicing, if you're not all, uh, ready to go all the way up, you can sort of do an intermediate form by starting with your hands on the floor like this. Then you can lean forward into your palms. You can curl your tailbone up just a touch. You can practice hovering between your arms. You can take it down to the floor. And then every time you can take it up just a little higher. So it'll take a little while to get down. Practice as much as you can. Do it every day. And after a little while, I think you'll surprise yourself. You'll float a little higher and you'll be able to get all the way up. So give it a shot. Hit me up if you have any questions. And I'll catch you around.